Sitefinity Cloud is built on top of Microsoft Azure DevOps, which provides tools that developers need to work together to build software. Azure DevOps has support for repos, which store code, and pipelines, which help move code between environments. In this video, we'll look at the user interface for Sitefinity Cloud and learn more about repos and pipelines. Once your tenant has been provisioned in Sitefinity Cloud, you'll receive a welcome email with a link to your Sitefinity Cloud Management Portal. When you first log in, you'll be taken to the welcome screen shown here. The left-hand side of the screen shows menu options for the various features and functionality of Sitefinity Cloud. In the main body of the screen, you can view links to important resources that will help you get started with Sitefinity Cloud. Additionally, any new features that are deployed to Sitefinity Cloud will be shown in the What's New section. Further down on the page, you'll find links to the Sitefinity sites in each environment, links to dashboards and database backups, and finally, help and resources. The right-hand side shows some overall project stats, including pull requests and commits, as well as the number of successful builds and deployments. In this video, we'll take a high-level look at how code is stored and built using the Azure DevOps features. In the left-hand menu, you'll find Repos. Azure Repos are private Git repositories for your project. This is where the Sitefinity application code is stored. Repos have all the expected functionality of a Git repository, including the ability to view commits, pushes, branches, and pull requests. Also in the left-hand menu are pipelines. Azure pipelines combine continuous integration and continuous delivery to automatically build and test code and ship it to any target. If for some reason you don't wish to use the built-in repos functionality of Azure DevOps, it's also possible to connect an external repository to the DevOps pipeline to give you continuous integration and continuous delivery. So, for example, if you already use GitHub, Bitbucket, or even have your own existing Azure DevOps code repository, you may keep using those external systems but reap the other benefits of Sitefinity Cloud. Let's review the basics of continuous integration and continuous delivery and learn more about how Azure DevOps and Sitefinity Cloud implement these processes. Continuous integration, usually called CI, is the process of frequently merging development changes into the master branch as often as possible. The developer's changes are validated by creating a build and running automated tests against the build. Frequent integration avoids the problem of trying to merge many code changes at once later in the process. Continuous delivery, usually called CD, extends the CI process by automatically deploying code changes to a staging environment after the CI process is completed successfully. Let's look at these concepts and how they're applied in Sitefinity Cloud. We'll imagine a scenario in which a developer would like to add a new custom widget to Sitefinity. To do so, the developer needs to add new code to create the widget. First, the developer would clone the Git repository to have a copy of the code in their local environment. Next, the developer would make the needed code changes to create the new widget. These changes would be made in a feature branch of code. The developer would then commit the changes and push the code back to the remote Git repository. Next, the developer must make a pull request to ask that the code from the feature branch be merged into the master branch. Once this pull request is approved and completed, a CI build is triggered to test the changes against the master branch, and upon a successful build, the changes are merged into the master branch. The CD pipeline then uses the artifact from the CI pipeline and deploys it to the deployment slot in the staging environment. Then, the CD pipeline swaps the deployment slot with the production slot to release the changes to the staging environment without any downtime. The staging environment is the site that stakeholders would use to make sure the new widget works as expected. If everything works in the staging environment, a manual approval step is then needed to move the package to the production environment. The CD pipeline will deploy the new code to the deployment slot of the production environment. Finally, the CD pipeline will swap the deployment slot with the production slot, making the new changes live. 
Other videos in this series explain more about the deployment process and how your local code changes are deployed to production. The CD pipeline has a built-in automatic rollback process in the event of an issue with the new package. If the DB gets corrupted by the new package, the pipeline automatically reverts the DB back to its state from before the deployment started and sends an email notification. If there's a need for a manual rollback, the CI pipeline produces versioned packages for every change in the master branch. These versioned packages can be used to track what changes have been deployed and to revert to a desired state of the application. When your Sitefinity Cloud instance is created, all the necessary pipelines and steps will be automatically set up for you. However, the pipelines can be customized to meet any specific needs you may have. In addition to the pipelines used for CI and CD, Sitefinity Cloud has a pipeline that's used to generate database backups from all environments and store them in blob storage. This is done to provide an accessible location from which Sitefinity Cloud customers can download the data. Because the Azure tenant is managed by the Progress Sitefinity Cloud team, customers don't have direct access to the database in Azure. Automated backups are created weekly. But if you need to create a database backup on demand, you can view the DB Acquire Backup pipeline and create a release for it manually. Database backups can be seen by going back to the welcome page, then scroll down until you see the blob storage section and click on database backups. This will open a new window in the Azure portal that will allow you to see the backups created from staging and production. Once you select the desired backpack file, you can download it and restore it to your local SQL environment. It's important to note that when the database backup process happens, it's done in a way that does not affect the load on the database. Additionally, any personally identifiable information in the database tables is obfuscated so that it cannot be seen in clear text. This makes it safe to share the database copies with developers or third parties and not worry about the private data being exposed. The list of database columns and tables that are obfuscated can be changed on demand if needed. A final pipeline to be aware of is the one named DB Restore from Production. Creating a release on this pipeline will copy the latest production database and restore it on staging. This is useful for testing or upgrade purposes. This is necessary because the staging and production Sitefinity sites use separate databases. By default, your Sitefinity Cloud will be configured with staging and production environments, but customers can purchase additional environments if needed. Like the other backup process, this pipeline also obfuscates any PII in the database tables when the DB is restored to non-production environments. In this video, we've explored two key components of Sitefinity Cloud, repositories and pipelines. Repos provide all the functionality you need to store code and work together in a collaborative environment. Pipelines are used to trigger continuous integration and continuous delivery processes that help ensure code is integrated frequently and moved out to the staging server after it's been successfully integrated. Pipelines also facilitate database backup processes, which allow you to download local copies of data and move data from production to other environments. This video is one of a series of videos about Sitefinity Cloud. Make sure to check out the other videos to learn about the many benefits of Sitefinity Cloud.